Hey guys, this is Thomas with another scholarship that is due in the month of May. Now, if you're interested in these kinds of scholarship videos that I put out all year long, then go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Let's jump right in so that we can start to future-proof your life. This scholarship is called the Post-Secondary College Scholarship. Now, how much is this scholarship? Well, there are 10 awards that are for $1,000 each. So you don't have to be the best, just have to be the top 10 and then you can win one of these $1,000 awards. Now, when is this one due? It's due at the end of the month, May 31st. So keep that in mind, try not to miss that due date. Now, are you eligible? Well, in order to be eligible, there's some uh, kind of fine print here, so bear with me. You do have to be a US citizen or permanent resident. You do have to have a GPA of at least 3.0. Now, for this scholarship, you have to be enrolled in a minimum of nine credit hours and working part-time at least 20 hours weekly, or, if you are only taking six credit hours, then you need to show that you're working 32 hours weekly. And we'll get into why there's both this requirement that you're in college as well as working uh, as we get into it. But in addition to that, uh, you do have to be majoring in insurance, compliance, risk management, finance, accounting, actuary, uh, actuarial science, business information, and information technology. One of those um, degree programs in order to be uh, eligible for this. Now, what is it that you have to do if you are indeed going to be working in one of these areas? Well, you're going to fill out the application and a transcript. You'll have a letter of reference, they call it, and employment verification. So remembering you have to be working part-time, uh, 20 hours or 32 hours, depending on how many credit hours you are taking. Now, here is how to apply. Let's jump right to their website here. This is the post-secondary college scholarship. It says each year, the SILA, the SILA Foundation, it's proud to offer the availability of 10 $1,000 scholarships. Now, if we roll down here, they do say here, let us pay a share of your education expenses here to help. Now, here's some general information about the scholarship. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this to you, but it does say that they are called the Securities and Insurance Licensing Association Foundation or the SELA Foundation. That's why, again, we're looking at Securities and Insurance Licensing Association. That's why those requirements for the different degrees. It says uh, the scholarships for students focused on careers in the insurance and securities industry. That's what they're focusing on. So obviously, if that's not you, if you're not focusing on that, then this one's not for you. But if it is, then this one is narrowing down the search. Not as many can people apply for this because of the narrowness of the, of the requirements. So if we continue to go down here, it says thanks to our sponsors. Now, here are the requirements. Again, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I am going to just highlight real quick. It does talk about, again, permanent resident, cumulative GPA. Here are those areas of, of uh, study that we talked about. Here's the, the specific requirements of either taking 12, nine or six and uh, working in these different areas. It says, if you're enrolled in a minimum of 12 credit hours at an accredited post-secondary school, if you're in school full-time, then you don't have to be working. It says enrolled if, if a minimum of nine hours and employed part-time or a minimum of six hours and employed part-time at 32 hours. So this part here, it says be enrolled in a minimum of 12 credit hours at an accredited post-secondary school or, so there's no work requirement here. There's no work requirement if you're taking 12 hours or more. So for the additional pieces, you're gonna submit that application. You're also gonna submit the transcript and the letter of reference. And the employment verification letter, if applying for consideration as a full-time employee. If you fail to provide any of that stuff, then basically your, your application won't be considered. And then what you need to know. And again, here's some more of the fine print details. So I'll let you guys peruse that as you need to. And for any help, you can email questions to here. Now, they also have a section here, the FAQ, so you can click on that for any of the other questions you might have that haven't been there. And then here's past recipients, so you can click on that to again see who's won before. And then after you do that, then this is the actual application part, copy of the transcript. Uh, if you are a high school graduating senior, it does say that they want you to provide a copy of your high school transcript, but you also must provide a copy of your upcoming fall enrollment schedule from your college or university before they'll release the funds. So this is kind of after you've won, they won't get, they won't actually release that money to you unless you submit this uh, an enrollment information for that college or university. And it says, click the apply now button below. And so that's where you would click to apply for this post-secondary college scholarship. Now, if you do want to get the uh, links to this scholarship, as well as my other May scholarships, then I have a scholarship PDF that is linked down in the description. It is free to download and it has all the scholarships due in May that you can download uh, that and click on the links directly to those web pages. Or if you want to go beyond scholarships and learn my seven step process to paying for college, then you can uh, go ahead and sign up for my course that's linked in the description. And that'll walk you through all these steps that you need to know in order to help pay for college going way beyond just applying for scholarships. So check that out if that's of interest to you. And if 
if you want to continue to watch my free content right here on YouTube, then you can watch this video here next, or you can watch this video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Either way, I'm going to continue to help you future-proof your life. So add any questions you got down into the comments, and we will see you in the next one.